Right guys, welcome to another daily show with me and Rotten Politics, who today will be kicking us off with an M25 protest that's blocking the path completely. Hey everyone. Right, yeah, we've got a breaking story. It's about a group of left waffer paid and sanctioned protesters. This time they're out of Bristol, are you surprised? This time they, they've called themselves a different name. They're actually calling themselves Insulate Britain. But these tactics they're doing today is the same sort of idiocy level as Extinction Rebellion and all other left-wing protests. This time they've blocked the M25 and four junctions disrupting thousands of people. And risking people's lives. It is a motorway at the end of the day. Now, yeah. you're probably wondering what they want. <laughs> well, they want the government to insulate every single home. So effectively, they want the government to steal your money in taxes to insulate your own home. <laughs> See what I mean about idiots? Have they come out with how much it's actually going to cost, though? Oh, they never come out with the numbers, do they? They know those sort of numbers because it would terrify people out of actually backing them. Now, are we sure that this is not just Extinction Rebellion and this is actually a different group of people, or have they just changed their name for today because they got shot on for protesting in London for a couple of weeks recently? Exactly. Well, it, it does seem like the, the reports are coming out that it is actually Extinction Rebellion, so it's just another branch or arm or whatever you want to call pube, whatever you want to call it, of Extinction Rebellion. So just rebranding, re effectively. Yeah, because I had actually never heard of these before, and now, now I've heard of them, I dislike them with a passion. So I guess we can say, well done there, you're on par with Extinction Rebellion, if, like I said, you're not already them. The motorists are going to be very pissed off with this as well, I can tell you, which the uh, well, Express is saying well, we about, saw tube gate. We saw Tubegate, didn't we, where uh, folks were restricted from getting a work or are put in danger. And when that happens, you've seen they like to de deliver out swift street, street justice. <laughs> Touched them up a little bit. This time's no different, to be honest. The people are angry. They're, fu they're furious, in fact. Some of them screaming, get out the fucking way. We're going to fucking lose our jobs because of them. Even one guy tried dragging one of the male protesters off the road. And this is obviously <laughs> what the Express are saying is a furious driver turns violent as climate protesters yeah. block the M25. Now, it wasn't really violent, as you would call violent in any sense of the word, especially not that I know, but... Technically, I no, suppose he's, it is he's because not he touched him. By him. The ankles he touched him. He dragged him across he the touched, road. He touched him and dragged him. So I suppose technically yeah. they are right, but realistically, it's not violent. And the actual uh, video seems to have disappeared of it now. Yeah. yeah. Because it oh no! Here we go. The... No, it's not. It's just a, it's just a clip of it. So they must have removed the video. <laughs> They've just got a screenshot of it now. That's a shame. We could have actually gone through that. But to be honest with you, it doesn't really show anything, does it? Let's be honest. No. And, I mean, the police have turned up, so they've blocked off all of the, the M25. Um, they're doing what they're usually doing. They've condemned them. They've not actually done much other than they've arrested four so far, but they've, they've blocked four junctions, so there's quite a lot of these people. So it's going to be a long day, isn't it, for everyone? Oh, they have actually arrested four now. I didn't see that they four had arrested so far. four. Four so far. Not... Should be all of them. I mean, it's it's dangerous, isn't it? It's a motorway. I thought they changed Could the laws of pile up at any time. Arrest people for doing this, like blocking a road for any period of time or things like that. Don't they have the uh, ability to circumvent that if they agree with it? Because that's where it seems, doesn't it? Well, it seems they just let it go. Whether they agree with it or yeah. not is irrelevant. I think it's just that they're letting it happen because surely the police would just be like, no, this is silly. I mean, imagine these people all did this outside like a police station or the police officers' houses or something, and they yeah. couldn't get out yeah. or couldn't get to work or couldn't get home. Then the old bill would have something different to say about it, is my betting. It seems like the only thing they're happy at doing is just condemning. No actual action, to be honest. Well, what do you expect? It's the M25, is it not the uh, Metropolitan Police that's dealing with this? Have a look. Now, Does it say, or is yeah. it is it in a, a, like Essex or something? Surrey Police. No, it's Surrey, Surrey Police. Police it is. So it's not even the yeah. Met. Maybe they're nope. just as bad as the Met, though. Don't really hear much about them. Yeah, I think it's probably across the board, isn't it? Now, I do want to say something about this. I, I did mention the uh, violent part of this article headline from the Express, which is pure bollocks, because it wasn't violent in the sense they're trying to make out like he's raining down blows on the guy's head, is it? Yeah, they're, 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 they're making it out like they were, they were mobbed. <laughs> yeah, which is really not worthy. I mean, all you have to do is say these people are blocking the M25. They're causing 
tens of thousands of people to have their days delayed, possibly lose jobs, as one of the people said in this article. That's Plus enough. Blocking a motorway is uh, is a risk to pileups and all sorts it's of risk stuff. To it's yourself, it's a risk to everyone. I mean, it? it's yeah. not really a risk because the police have come there to stop the traffic before these people have done that. Because the traffic yeah, would have been running I mean, it too started fast. at 8 a.m. was the first report. And at 8 a.m. it's peak time. So the, the police yeah. must have been there to stop it at first. I don't see how they could have stopped the M25. Have you seen the M25? I've been around it a fair few times. And trust me, you couldn't walk out into that and stop cars doing 60 or 70 mile an hour. No chance. The police must have the been police there and have stopped that. first. Or they've managed to, maybe they've managed to get onto a junction, like the off-ramps and on-ramps, and block it there as cars are doing, say, 20, 30 round roundabouts and things like that. But still, well, these are in the middle of it, as you is, can see is, here is, on the screen. They're in the middle of it. They're in the middle well, of the road. Favourability with the public now is on the floor, isn't it? I That's mean, this isn't be. winning people over to the cunt cult at all. I no. mean, this is just highlighting how ridiculous these entitled gits are, to be honest. And yeah, Think yeah. of all of the pollution of the cars that are idling trying to get through the M25 now. Yeah, and all the uh, extra miles they'll have to drive to yeah. get around the M25. They're going to have to do massive fucking stop-start journeys through traffic, through central Everything London. Everything that these idiots do seems to get the public with no other option to do the things they're complaining about. Well, well yeah, I think that's the aim, to be honest with you. Useful idiots, <laughs> yeah, as they would say, wouldn't they? Yeah. That's all they are. Literally useful idiots. Now, have you got anything more on this? Because if not, we'll move on. No, we'll move on. All right. I well, just wanted to highlight how stupid th these people are. Yeah, I mean, and they just, are very stupid. Look, here you can see actually the police with them before we finish. Look, look at that. An embarrassment. <laughs> they should be picking them all up and arresting them for moving along. Yeah, they should just yeah pick them up. I mean, they weren't even chained together by all the looks. It just looks like they were sat on the floor. Well, imagine actually anti-lockdown protesters block the entrance to Parliament in the morning so MPs couldn't get in there. How quick do you oh, think they'd... they'd all be arrested? Oh, they'd have touched them all up and all. Five minutes. I give it five minutes before they're arrested. Yet normal people sit in there stuck. You can all see them there. Literally stuck yeah. there waiting. No, they don't care. The yeah. police will stand there and talk all nicely, nicely to them. That's bollocks, in my opinion. Two-tier police. If the police weren't there, we'd have another tube gate incident. I guarantee it. Yeah, yeah. I reckon the protesters probably would have been attacked. So maybe it's a good thing the old bill are there because you don't want the drivers being arrested for attacking these idiots. Let's be honest. No. No one no. wants that. Well,